Hello piggy people. So today's video I'm going to tell you five things that are really expensive when it comes to owning guinea pigs. A small disclaimer, I understand that some of these things people are going to have hacks for having it cheaper, but for the average person, I think these are five things that you need to know are going to cost you a pretty penny. Sometimes you will find it on sale, sometimes you might find a deal here or there, but pretty much count on these things breaking the bank. Number one, vegetables. So yes, you could grow your own vegetables, but for the average person who's not going to grow their own vegetables, they can be expensive and add up each week. So vegetables, for most people, are a daily part of their guinea pig's diet. I could easily say I spend $20 to $30 some weeks on vegetables alone just for the guinea pigs. And I don't even feed a ton of vegetables. In the winter, it's worse because it's off-season, so it's more expensive. In the summer, I can go to farmer's markets to get it a bit cheaper. So vegetables can add up because if you think you spend like, say, even just $10 a week, that's 40 bucks a month just on vegetables. So number two, sticking with the food for your guinea pigs are pellets. Pellets can get very expensive if you're buying high quality ones, which we all should be. So high quality ones that I use are Sherwood. So they do cost more than your average pellet, but they're made with really nice ingredients. So they can be costly up front. So a 10 pound box for me is about $42 plus tax and I have 10 pigs. I've never actually really timed how long I go through it, but it adds up. So number three, the other part of their diet food wise is hay. Hay can be super expensive. So this is the biggest part of their diet. Again, some people might be able to find high quality farm hay for a lot cheaper. Maybe you live on a farm so you don't even have to technically pay for your hay. But for a lot of us, we're ordering it online or buying it in store. And stores love to charge you out the wazoo for it. So that really adds up. And if you have pigs, you know they waste hay, there's parts that they don't want to eat, there's parts that they pee and poop on. So we're going through a lot of hay and for myself a 50 pound box of hay is about $72 give or take and I probably go through that every couple months with the guinea pigs that I have. So I mean that adds up as well. So number four, bedding for your guinea pigs. So this is going to depend on what you use for how expensive it is, but I think pretty much across the board, it's a monthly expense. Maybe every couple weeks you're purchasing it. So for myself, you know I use fleece cage liners. So up front, fleece, if you're getting it from like a really good shop and they're using high quality fleece and supplies, it's really expensive up front, but you're using it over and over and over again. So I would say easily fleece that's high quality is going to last you five to 10 years. It could outlast your guinea pigs. So once you buy it up front, it's gonna last a long time, but you are gonna have to pay for water, um, electricity for your washer, your dryer, and detergent. For myself though, using fleece saves me a gazillion dollars compared to disposable bedding. So disposable bedding, you're gonna have to repurchase over and over and over again. If you're buying like name brand bedding, it's even more expensive than like the off-brand labels. And it's really pricey to fill up a huge CNC cage. Like I wouldn't even be able to live with buying disposable bedding for my sizes of cages. So it all depends on your personal situation, but it's a lot of money. I think some people might not realize how often you need to clean out a guinea pig's cage, even just spot cleaning. So that adds up really quickly. So number five, of course, if you haven't guessed it, is vet care. If you're taking on animals, that means you should be providing them with vet care, and vet care is very expensive. This depends where you are in the world. Some places are a bit less expensive than others, but generally speaking, it adds up very quickly. The more guinea pigs you have, the more vet care you're gonna need to provide, it can break your bank. So this is something you need to be aware of 
If you're going to take on guinea pigs, you need to be ready to set aside money for the vet bills and to kind of suck it up. It sucks sometimes when the vet bills are rolling in like one pig after another, but that's life. So be prepared for that because honestly, that piles up very quickly. Some people, depending where you are in the world again, are able to get insurance for their guinea pigs. So you play a flat rate and stuff gets covered. I imagine you have some kind of deductible. So that's something you could look into. But yeah, so this is my list of five things that are very expensive when it comes to guinea pigs. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!